and welcome to our video review of our 191st Clinical News Report. Now for those of you not familiar, what we do is we filter through a lot of the peer-reviewed medical press releases. And what we look for is medical releases that pertain to the individual, meaning information that the individual can use. Now we look at, this is just the medical releases in the past 14 to 21 days. Things which are often 99% or likely or so, they're never going to make it into the major media. So, I have to do it under 10 minutes, 16 releases this this newsletter, so let us begin. Alright, first off, we are going to start with Healthy Fats Help Diseased Heart Muscles Process and Use Fuel. Now, stick with this keyword here, fuel. Think of your heart like an engine that often you requires uh, a certain octane of fuel. Well, certain fats are high octane, great for the heart. Certain fats are low octane, miserable for the heart. And again, just as a side note, you can find all these articles referenced on clinicalnews.org. But let's look at this, this research in a little bit more depth. What they found out is oleate, which is found in olive oil, restored proper metabolism to animals that had heart failure. In their words, we saw an immediate improvement in how the hearts contracted and pumped blood. Henceforth, Olive oil being your high octane fuel, I wonder how that pertains to athletic performance at the same time. Now, if you really don't like yourself or enjoy partaking in a lot of fast food or junk food, then you get to go to the other end of the spectrum. And that spectrum being palmitate, often found in palm and kern oil. What they found, if you consume a lot of this, that the fat metabolism from palm oil, palmitate, was imbalanced. Henceforth, you're low octane, meaning your heart engine began to knock a little bit, uh, which began to produce a rise in toxic fatty byproducts, which was because of dysregulated fat metabolism. So, in brief, oleate from olive oil, great, keeps you going. And in not so brief, palmitate from palm oil, kern oil. All right, well, you're not going to operate on all cylinders, so to say. Let us proceed. New way to detox, Gold of Pleasure, oil seed boosts liver detoxification enzymes. We covered this in one of the videos prior. Remember Gold of Pleasure, that's the common name. Basically, it's often used to, as an additive for jet fuel, believe it or not. Uh, basically produced uh, increased liver detoxification enzyme, enzymes five-fold. So the next one we move to. New way to treat anemia could evolve from acetate supplement research. Acetate sounds so deadly, but acetate being a very common ingredient in household vinegar. Now, we're not going to debate the types of vinegar, but however, they found that acetate in vinegar, in this case, they claimed household vinegar, basically boost red blood cell production, maybe as well as that nasty drug you often used to hear in the cycling industry, racing industry, called EPO. And yes, they said the acetate from household vinegar may eventually pass EPO without all the negative side effects. An apple a day could keep obesity away. And you see this color here, green? Well, granny apples really help with metabolism. Now I can go in detail because you can find it on our site here. Apples, we have known for a while, are great for metabolism, but granny apples in particular. Antioxidant found in grapes uncorks new targets for acne treatment, resveratrol. New article shows daily use of supplements, certain supplements can decrease health care expenditures. What are those supplements? Let's look at it. All right. What they did is they looked at, first one was omega-3 from plants or fish oil, so to say. They said if people just did that on a daily basis, it could save about an additional $2.1 billion just in regards to cardiovascular events. And $16.5 billion between 2013 and 2020. Now, that's just not counting everything else beneficial omega-3s do. From blood sugar uh, control to help improve mood uh, to inflammation joints. So we're just talking a, a small percentage of all the benefits that omega-3 can do if people just took the time to do it. And the complement to that omega-3 for cardiovascular is B vitamins. Now remember, they're saying a preventative intake daily level. I regret they didn't say what that preventative intake was, but I can imagine it's probably a little higher than your RDA. And that's 1.5 billion to 12.1 billion. And that's just looking at cardiovascular disease. We're not looking at 
you know, vascular health, we're not looking at, uh, you know, dementia, Alzheimer's, you name it, or things that may involve homocysteines. So this is just the tip of the iceberg. A little bit of proactive behavior can go a long way and make a great uh, boost to the economy. Uh, yeah, that sucks. But let's go to the next one. All right. Omega-3 fatty acids may prevent some form of depression. Duh, we just went through that. Omega-3 fatty acids seem to work really well with forms of depression, which they believe are a result of inflammation. Since serotonin theory is pretty much being thrown out the window, omega-3s will be coming into heavy light because reducing brain inflammation. All right, drug interactions in mountaineering. Sounds weird, but what they really went through was the type of vitamins to take to prevent altitude sickness. Henceforth, they strongly recommend it. C, E, ginkgo biloba, uh, even caffeine. Very interesting article. You can find at clinicalnews.org if you are an athlete that likes to go at high altitudes. Not get high, but go high. All right, lifting weights improves your memory. We kind of know that in regards to exercise already. And, but a very good way and explanation of how it does it. Several experiments on rats prove that chronic melatonin consumption fights obesity and diabetes. Remember, melatonin is one of the things you produce when you sleep. Well, for a while, we're trying to figure out how people with bad sleeping patterns end up gaining weight, and it wasn't because they're going out to their fifth meal at midnight at the local fast food restaurant. Well, melatonin, they also discovered, too, helps with the metabolism of brown fats, which is a good fat, which helps you burn the bad fat or the dark side, the white fats. All right, so melatonin is being confirmed, helping great with obesity and diabetes. Vitamin D significantly improves symptoms of winter-related atopic dermatitis uh, in children. I really hope a lot of parents out there are taking the time to make sure their children are getting adequate vitamin D, especially if they got painful conditions or embarrassing conditions like atopic dermatitis. It doesn't take a lot to do a lot, so let's hope they do something. Virological penicillin, plant MIR2911 directly targets influenza A viruses. This one we are going to go into a little bit more detail because this exotic sounding supplement, this is why we read the articles, is actually honeysuckle. So they found out that people that drank honeysuckle can prevent, and this is their words, not mine, influenza A virus infection. They use the word prevent. Pretty interesting. And reduce H5N1 induced mice death. Again, we've cured mice of many diseases, so that's probably why there's so many of them. All right, but also, too, honeysuckle worked very well against the H1N1, H5N1, and H7N9. So if you want to hedge your bets and worry about getting ill, uh, don't worry about it too much. This little micro RNA which is found actually in honeysuckle soup, basically seem to make a huge, whoop, I'm in the way there, a huge difference in fighting off or have this broad spectrum, I can't get the mouse down low enough, anti-influenza A virus effect. Otherwise, if you don't want to use the word honeysuckle, you could say MIR2911, be really popular at parties. All right, so, after we move to the next one, oral chelation for environmental lead toxicity. Well, DMSA, duh, been using it for a while, but it does make a difference pulling the heavy metals out of the body. But another cool way of pulling heavy metals out of the body, so if you know anyone that is pregnant or thinking about getting pregnant, probiotics. And I just covered up the word. Let's go to this one in a little bit more detail. A certain type of probiotic, usually found in yogurt before they pasteurize, homogenize it for your safety, and kill off all the good bacteria for you. They found out that Lactobacillus rhamnosus worked really well, in fact, phenomenally well, in their words, great affinity for binding to toxic heavy metals. The reason that's important to a developing fetus because heavy metals will mess with everything from the thyroid to the brain, reduce IQ, you name it all the way down the line. So a little bit of Lactobacillus rhamnosus which you will not find in your doctor's office, but commercially available probiotic supplements, check your health food store or grocery store, by per se, can really go a long way at keeping you and your children healthy and happy. Again, lactobacillus rhamnosus, read the label. It's not necessarily going to be in there. And again, most of your yogurts, 
due to our government trying to protect us, have thoroughly made sure that basically it's like dead or burnt or beyond any recognition. So make sure it says it on the label. Next. All right. We look at sugar linked to memory problems in adolescent mice. Well, if you want to do really lousy on a test, make sure you drink some high fructose corn syrup laced soda because that will cause your brain to become, or hippocampus, part of the brain, as the researcher said, thoroughly inflamed. Yes, they did sugar, but they also said high fructose corn syrup really did the job and really well. Or if you have a friend that you want to make sure he doesn't graduate this year, make sure you're getting plenty of soda to them because that will do wonders for that. And also, too, you think about it, inflaming the brain and high fructose corn syrup causing depression, well, yeah, well, two birds with one stone. After that, sleeping in dentures doubles the risk of pneumonia in the elderly. Like they don't have things tough enough, uh, just don't sleep in dentures. Real easy. Grapefruit juice stems weight gain and mice fed a high fat diet. Well, grapefruit juice we've been suspected for a long time is great for the body. And of course with uh, prevention of obesity, but these researchers, the researchers did a wonderful job confirming that data. More researchers identify a new class of good fats. It's going to be real important. You see a lot of that coming around. But again, you can find that information on clinicalnews.org. And drinking decaf coffee may be good for the liver, which is great for a lot of people which are burnt and cannot do the caffeinated coffee. That was supposed to be a smiley face. So the decaf may have benefits for the liver, just like the caffeinated uh, coffee is beneficial for the liver. Again, the research found minus the art on clinicalnews.org. And so, oh, there I am. Oh, there I am, even bigger, and with that. So any questions, please feel free to email me. I apologize having to move through this really fast, but 16 subjects is a lot to cover, and speaking really fast, and sometimes not totally coherent. Thanks once again. We're out to channel, signing off for clinicalnews.org. And uh, any questions, again, email me as much as you like, and I'll respond to you. Thank you very much.